ஹாய் ஹலோ வணக்கம் அண்ட் வெல்கம் டு அட் அனதர் எபிசோட் ஆன் லிட்டில் ஸ்லா யூடியூப் சேனல் இன் அவர் ப்ரீவியஸ் வீடியோ வி சா ஹவு டு டூ தி பேராமெட்ரைசேஷன் அண்ட் இன் திஸ் வீடியோ லெட் அஸ் சி ஹவு டு டூ கார்லேஷன் இன் லோட் ரன்னர் இஃப் யூ ஹாவ் மிஸ்ட் மை ப்ரீவியஸ் வீடியோ ப்ளீஸ் செக் த லிங்க் ஃபார் தி பேராமெட்ரைசேஷன் இத் த டிஸ்கிரிப்ஷன் and you can also visit my channel and check the load runner playlist and before we see what is correlation and how to do correlation i request you all to subscribe to my little sla youtube channel if you have not subscribed yet please like the video and share the video with your friends so let's now go to the video and see how to do the correlation so before let me tell what is correlation and how to do it so let me tell you like what is correlation in performance testing and why it is important to do so correlation is basically a process of capturing and storing the dynamic response from the server and passing it in the subsequent requests so if for example if we are signing in to an application and the session id starts once we sign into the application and the session will be alive till we complete the transaction and we sign out the application or the transaction so that is the property of the session where it keeps the session alive and make sure the session is not been hijacked so there are various other values that we can do as part of correlation so let's now see so this is the basic application that we have normally used in our most of our performance testing so the process let me explain so the process or the transaction which i have recorded is i have signed into the application and i have entered the store so this is the entering the store transaction and then i have selected few items and added that in the cart and made the payment with the credit card so here is the login id and the password which i have used for the application and then i have added the items to the cart i have updated the items to the cart and i have proceeded to check out and finally i have paid and made the confirmation so that is the transactions which i have carried out so here there is a thing that is the session id which is a dynamic value that has been generated from this server so let's see here what is it let me take you to that particular j session id so this is the correlated the value that has to be correlated and that comes as a combination of alpha numeric that's that comes as an alpha numeric value so we have to correlate this value and this is now is been as part of the request so our action should be we should find where exactly this particular id is been generated and then we have to correlate the value so that the value it will be passed from the previous request that is from the previous response and the value we'll take it from the previous response and pass it here so that the session will follow its normal flow so now just remember we are seeing this j session id value in the 85th line so let me try to find from where exactly this value has come so i'm right double clicking on this value and i'm right clicking on it and i'm clicking correlate selection so this will take me to the exact place where it has been where it has come as a response so here it shows line number 27 and the j session id so here we can see the expression as well the regular expression where it shows the j session id is equal to and whatever value that comes between this that is the bracket dot star and a question mark and close bracket and colon so that is the j session id equal to is the right boundary and the colon is the left boundary and we it has come in various other places so for now let us take it and here you can see 
it has come in the 38th line as a request and into the trend at the request but the 27th line it has come as the response so let's go there to this 27th line and see so now we are in the 85th line so let's now go to the 27th line So now we are in the 27th line that is once we enter the store the session has started working so now so before I mean before we uh, look into this correlation there is one more thing that is very important that is the snapshot so this snapshot the tab which we see here that comes as a part of the output task errors runtime data and the snapshot the so this snapshot will actually help us to understand the values that comes in the recording and the replay so normally it comes in a single snapshot that is the recording part which we can see so what has been passed in any step and what was the response so this is the request that we have sent and this is the re response we have got so the request is a get request where we get the j session id so to understand the difference or to compare with the uh, recording and the replay so let us make uh, let us uh, split this here so I'm clicking on the split so now the original will be the recording and the split the second window will be the replay so let's now see here so now we are in the 27th line and the response body contains the J session ID value so we are going to pass the value from here I mean we are going to fetch or we are going to extract the value from here and we are going to pass the value in the subsequent request I hope you understand this so let me just again reiterate what I'm telling so the first thing we have to find is what are the values that we are going to correlate so mostly the values that we need to correlate will come as a session value or any dynamic values that comes from the server so they normally comes as an alphanumeric value so we have to identify the place where it has been put up as a request and when we right click on it and if we want to find it so just right click on it and click on the correlate selection so that will take us to where we have to fetch the value so we can either we can automatically correlate there and some values we might not find there so that is the reason i'm giving you more uh, insight into it so sometime we might not get those values so in those situations we have to come into each and every request manually and we have to find what is the difference so see, say for example if you can see here so this is what is the recorded j session id value it starts with b o 15 dc and this is the replayed value where you can see it is bc1 bc which is a totally different value so these are some of the values that we have to correlate where else if you see any other value in this application or in this transaction will not be different and only those values which are different has to be definitely handled otherwise the script will be of no use so most of the times load runner tries to handle or tries to find the correlate correlation value but in some cases in very few cases it has not been handled and in those cases we have to manually check in into each and every step every step that we have recorded and find what is the value or what is the difference between each and every value and again i'm telling you so this is the difference so j session id this is the recorded value and this is the replayed value so let's now do the correlation here since this is the rec request that we have found the correlated value so we will have to bring the correlation here so there are two things that we can do so one is right click so this is the type one that is where you can automatically correlate the value with the help of load runner so just right click on the value that we have to correlate right click on it click correlate selection and just find what are all the value that we have to replace just check once for the detail that is the value that we are selecting is right 
and please make sure you have the proper left boundary and the right boundary and once you are okay or once you are okay then you can just click on correlate so here i will take you through this is the correlate button so this is what you have to click and automatically the values will be correlated so, but i am taking you through how to do this manual correlation because that will help you most of the times when you get stuck with some values to be correlated so what i have to do is like i am going to the 27th line where we have found this value in the response so i'm going there so before that let me again take you through this response body where we have found the value in between the j session id so let's fetch it the first occurrence so let's go and get that so let me take this occurrence here just copying it let's now go to the script so to insert the command so let's now right click on it insert new step and let us get the value which is web bridge save param double click on it and we will get this window and let us give the parameter name so that is j session id and we have to be very careful in selecting the left and right boundary so i'm giving this as the left boundary which is the j session id and the value in between let's remove it and we have this question mark at the as the right boundary so let's give that here and the instance will have to be the first instance and if it is not found we'll get an error so with that we have selected it and let's now go to so now we have now we have correlated the value so let's now go to the runtime settings and see whether the value is being correlated and it is able to fetch it and then we'll go to the log so under log let us do the extended log and do all the options here and let me execute it and let's see whether the value is being extracted and once if it is successfully extracted then we will replace it in the place where we need to replace so let us wait for a few more seconds execution has started let's go to the runtime data and yes we have got the j session id but anyways let us validate once in the 27th line also yes so we have so we could see here at the 27th line at the line 27 we could get the value and there were no errors so let's now replace the value in the place where we need to correlate so let's now go to the 80 the 90 second line let me right click it and i am copying it and go to the search quick find or let me just replace search and replace let me just go to the quick replace and this is what the value which i'm going to replace with open bracket and the value is going to be let's get it once so this is the value that we are going to replace that is j session id so 
so let's replace j session id and let's start replacing so we are finding it replace 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 so now we are done with the replacement and i think we have successfully completed the correlation so let's do one more execution and if the script is passed so we are done with the correlation just wait for a few more seconds and we are done with the correlation yes i could see some values were getting popped up yeah, so here we can see this is the value or this is the correlated value so yes so we have com successfully completed the correlation so just a quick recap so here on the 90 second line we have found a value which is a, an alphanumeric value and that was uh, when, when we right click on it we could find that has that needs to be correlated so we found that that was the response from the 27th line which is the place where we enter into the application where we enter into the store so from there we found that 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 was a response so then we tried to correlate it so we found it this is the the j session id equals uh, colon is the uh, j session id equal is the left boundary and the question mark is the right boundary and it's the first occurrence so we fetch that value using web reg save param and uh, please remember that because this might come as one of your interview questions so web bridge save param so we use that to fetch the value to extract the value from the response and please remember so we are fetching a value from the response in the previous in the first few requests and passing that extracted value into the request in the subsequent requests and we run when we run the test the test will work fine since I, I told you already so session id is what that keeps the session alive and also any correlated values will actually keep the flow or the transaction valuable and positive so please remember so this is how so we get the left boundary and the right boundary fetch the value and pass it to the subsequent request and then once you execute the script it will go it will work fine please uh, if if you are really lucky and you get the values automatically in the correlation you're good but if it's not please just go to each and every step uh, and you can easily identify the values and that comes in practice so all the very best so this is how the correlation works please do follow my channel for more interesting and informative videos and i believe you subscribe to my channel now Thank you. Please like and sub share the video with your friends. Thank you. We'll meet you with another interesting video.